I thought 3,000 was way too much, and 3,500 is just like, yeah. wow. Well, they probably figure out what the hell, right? We're already I guess. there. You know, I mean, why lose money? I see they put that little <laughs> pro moniker in there, you know, oh, pros only. The other day, Apple introduced a new toy to the world, Vision Pro. Yeah, well, I don't know if it's really a toy at its price point. Yeah, <laughs> expensive toy. It's pretty exciting and interesting, and it's something that I've been waiting for for a bit. Um, now, of course, we don't actually have first-hand experience, but we'll talk about our thoughts from watching a few videos on the internets mm. and what we think about it. Mm. So I've been a sort of long-time VR enthusiast, but I never really took the plunge and spent a lot of time buying all the different high-end headsets. I only had a little bit of experience with two, and it's interesting technology, but there's so many overwhelming technical challenges. Yeah, it's crude, really. You know, yeah. So relative to real life, I mean. The hope was that Apple or somebody like Apple would come in and come out with this amazing headset that solves all the problems. And Vision Pro is supposed to kind of do that. It's supposed to at least make it mainstream, which is very cool. But it does have the same problem that you would think anybody solving that problem would have, and it's very expensive. <laughs> very <laughs> expensive. So but I thought it's understandable. Kind of. Look at what its capabilities well, yeah. it are. It is very complicated. Right. You know? I figured something like that, surely it couldn't be more than 2500 or some crazy price like that, but they're saying 3500 so oof, that's going to really limit adoption. But if it is just the business, if it has the horsepower and the amazing technology that it allegedly has, then maybe it's worth it for a sort of kind of first-gen product. Yeah, I guessed three grand when I saw them when Apple talked about it. Yeah. I'm thinking it looks like about three. You did G's. say three, and yeah. the rumor was three thousand, and yeah. then the one in there like thirty five hundred. My like, ooh, yeah. you know, I thought three thousand was way too much, and thirty five hundred is just like, yeah. wow. Well, they probably figure out what the hell, right? We're already I guess. there. You know, I mean, why lose money? I see they put that little <laughs> pro moniker in there. You know, oh, pros only. Well, let's hope the extra five hundred bucks gives them the ability to do set us up for some more. Yeah. What do you, what'd you call it? Uh, awesome experiences coming going forward. They didn't talk about gaming, which is a big deal because really what I was looking for in something like that is gaming. I want I want somebody like Apple to come into this space and say, hey, we're making this headset, we're gonna ship them in units in serious numbers, and we're gonna push it to the consumer so you out there, the developer, can make games for it. And you do your best to make cool VR games because that's sort of been lacking. The hardware is kind of slowly creeping up, but the games are kind of, they're not at the level of immersion uh, and experience that I would like to see. Well, I mean, that's pretty much why they released it so early, is because they, and especially at WWDC, because they want people to develop for this new yeah. product. And that's going to be the key, is how immersive the developers can make it, right? I mean, the software is very important, obviously, in a thing like this. Software is critical. Yeah. And that's a cool thing about it, though. You don't need lighthouses. It supposedly does everything in the goggles, and I guess at that price it probably has like 300 million cameras and sensors and stuff. Yeah, it's like and 12 cameras or something. Maybe like it'll do it. And allegedly, MKBHD claims that the like hand detection stuff is phenomenally accurate. Mm -hmm. uh, and considering that they're not shipping it for like a year or so, presumably it'll just get better. So that's pretty encouraging because not have to run like sensors and wires everywhere. That's great. Yeah, Obviously, it seems to be a dedicated, you know, very yeah. um, self-reliant. The thing yeah. is capable yeah. of. I mean, it's, it, it even showed, like, did you see the part where they were doing a, 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 video, a video call? Yeah, yeah. And it's actually picking up your body? It, well, it's, re, yeah, it's, it's recreating yeah, yeah. you, all right? And, and, I mean, he said it wasn't as good as FaceTiming. Well, but, yeah. You know, but, but the reality of it is it's just the beginning, and it's actually taking all pieces of your, your yeah, lower you body, yourself. your face, your eyes, yeah. yeah, and putting it together to create, you know, something better than a cartoon image, you know? Yeah. <laughs> It'll be so. cool to see where something like that goes because there's cool. no doubt – the opportunity in this space is massive. It's just nobody's been able to ship hardware and software package that works the way people expect. And that's not to say this is it either, because it's yeah. $3,500. <laughs> so that's oof, a bit of a limiter, but it's possible that this could really turn into something. And I'm hopeful, well, maybe. And the key is, is that it's all self-sufficient. You don't need a yeah. dedicated, I mean, that, that helps out a lot, because having people have to set up a dedicated room for something like that, that ain't gonna mass adopt, you know. So, but more to like us, I was interested in the audio impl implementation, how it was gonna work, and yeah. it's not exact. I figured they were gonna like, oh, buy AirPods or something, but yeah, no, it's it's actually has audio built into it. Oh, because I was looking at that. It's and not there's, isolated. There's nothing that goes over the ears or anything no. like that. So it's kind of like, well, so it doesn't work on a plane. You already know that's gonna be hard to do. So you know? they they kind of they kind of brushed upon it on a plane where they showed someone wearing AirPods. 
So I guess it's going to have to have think, some integration. I would think that's what they're going to have to do. But they didn't really get yeah. too deep no, into it. No, I mean, it. That's, it makes sense. It's wide open by the ears. Yeah. It makes sense it's going to interface to their their other devices. Yeah. You know, because those things are so capable in and of themselves with yeah. audio. Yeah. Why would you recreate that in a headset that's made for the video side of it? Right. It makes sense to have two separate components, one doing the audio, one doing the video. It does make sense. You don't have to put them together. You know, you don't have to, and that way each one specializes in itself. It's kind of like, you know, in audio, we get a separate preamp and a separate amplifier and a separate DAC where, you know, and some people use integrateds, but right. you can't upgrade an integrated without upgrading the entire integrated right. amp. Whereas here we're separate, it's okay, oh, we could get the audio better. Now, you know, and you think about it, there's gonna be a learning curve here because they're gonna be integrating audio with video, and as, as, the, um, as the video improves, uh, to me, the audio is probably already ahead of the video, you know, uh, well, to do a headset, right? Well, because they're doing like, yeah, spatial audio, so that's probably going to evolve too. Well, that's better. true. Latency is obviously a problem, so I right. think it's all going to improve probably all at the same time. But you can see where they got to have specialized devices, you know, that make more sense where you can upgrade each individually to, and sooner or later they will meet in the middle and they will become one experience. Where you can't tell you that know? you're not wherever yeah yeah <laughs> obviously that's the goal right and it's it'll be interesting to see the the path if that ends up happening and what it takes and whatnot because um, it does look encouraging that we're starting to see a bit more adoption and i guess it's the right time because the hardware right now is so demanding you need a lot of horsepower to be able to drive very high resolution displays right next to your eye at very high refresh rate with yeah, ultra low latency. You said runtime is two hours on the battery. Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> terrible, but that's, and, and that's strong some that's, power. That may be optimistic too, who yeah. knows, yeah. Well, we're Depending gonna need a bigger battery. Doing, yeah. If so, it yeah. does what it needs to do to be able to develop, uh, to, to realize a really life-life experience, it sort of has to be ultra powerful, and that tends to mean you need a lot of horsepower in the thing, a lot of power consumption. So yeah, I guess it's probably going to mean that it, it's for the time being, it's going to have bad battery life or a big heavy battery. Um, I don't know how much of a rate limiter that's going to be. I mean, they did say you can just plug it in. Right, but, then but you're tethered. you already have a cord coming yeah. off and then you have another cord going to clunky. So it's yeah. a very, I wouldn't even really call it a uh, first generation product. A lot of people are calling it like a zero gen and I kind of agree. It seems like it's possibly that. It's just, it looks like amazing hardware yeah. compared to what we've seen. So. Maybe it'll go somewhere. Maybe it'll mean something more for spatial audio in the future, too. Well, I mean, clearly the most important part is the developers developing for it. So we don't really know its potential yet. Yeah, without apps, it's yeah. nothing but a fancy mouse, uh, I mean, eye-controlled mouse. It was just yeah. like you iPhone. Know? Remember when iPhone came out? No app store. It just made phone calls, text messages, and stuff. And then when the, when the app store came out, boom. Your phone does everything now, right? So you think it's something like that? You think it's another it, total category product? It could be. Because it seems very plausible. It just it seems like we're so far off now, it's hard to envision the point where everyone's like, oh, yeah, I just got my VR headset, and it's like this amazing, super immersive experience. Yeah, because when the iPhone came out, nobody was thinking that, oh, your phone's just going to be the everything thing like it is today. Right. So it, well, it could be like that. The tech may require new rooms and homes, like, a room no. with nothing in it, or mm. a room that's specifically set up to do this. That was my concern. You're not yeah. tripping on, an, uh, on, a, on a coffee well, table. Well, that's why it's, it, it is looking at all the objects, so it knows what's in the room. Yeah, but it's you're still a, human. Well, yeah. Just because you see it doesn't mean you want to hit it. Well, you know? that's true. Ah. To do VR right, yeah. you really do need a pretty good amount of open space, with current hardware at least. And that's sort of part of the issue. Not only do you have the cost, the complexity, the difficulty, the uncertainty, the limited game support, and on and on, but you also need space. Which Remember? It's supposed to kind of like, you would think something like this means it's supposed to mitigate the need for space, but if you want to be able to really immerse in it, not so much. Remember, uh, there was a Microsoft store at the mall here a while back, which is gone now, but all they gone. used to have the VR thing going there, and yeah. they had a, like a, what you call it, fenced off, roped off area within yeah. the store, and you'd see people like falling oh, yeah. all the they time crash, with these yeah. things yeah. on. <laughs> you know, I mean, they were like, they went way out of the bounds, and it was a small, it was too small of an area, obviously, because yeah. it was part of a small store. But yeah, it's, it, well, was, it, it was obviously, it's like you need room. You can't put people I think that's the thing, in a though. small space and expect them not to take that one extra step off the border. That may be a know? problem, but Apple did show most of this clips, people sitting down and like yeah. just not moving. Oh, right. They didn't really yeah. show yeah. like a right. flailing yeah, but They weren't showing like, people not ready for that out yet. for a walk yeah, you know, right. wearing this thing. <laughs> they were very light yeah. on technical data, which is yeah. understandable. sort of telling and yeah. understandable at the same yeah. time. I guess they're probably not totally done. They got a year, so... 
we'll see. That's pretty cool. I'm sure they got a shit ton of people pretty working cool. on it. And uh, you know, and the price. I mean, I mean, I get it. You know what? You know what? It, it was said well by um, MKBHD, and he said, you know, it's it's. He says, what do you compare it to? Like, you know, if you're looking at okay, it's thirty five dollars is expensive, it's but really what's the expensive. comparisons? And he's like, well, yeah. nothing else does this. Right. And at it, least. Yeah. I mean, I, we get that. Right. We yeah. get that. It's like, well, if nothing else does this, then what are you comparing it to? It's like it's like saying this house is worth ten million dollars. Well, relative to what? Right. I mean, relative to what? The twenty million dollars. It's house? a complicated I mean, one because without a doubt, it's sort of what I've been asking for. A little bit more expensive than I would hoped for, considering it is supposed to be kind of consumer friendly. But if they could deliver an amazing experience, then maybe it's worth it. Right. Yeah. It's a lot of money, but. You know, if it's just amazing, they'll work on the price later. Solving the technology today, I think, is a more important thing. Making it so it's an amazing experience should be the first priority. Well, and you go forward 30 years and, like, you take this, test, this technology and build it into a contact lens. Well, <laughs> well yeah. Your mm. eyeball's heat is yeah. generating enough power to run the contact lens. More than 30 years. Yeah. 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 Right. Okay. Well, we'll see, you know. But we'll see. They're working on stuff like that. It's well, just, yeah. it's, the, you know, it's yeah. like, it's, they, they, they made one thing do it with a, on a nano scale, right, to yeah. generate power from body heat, all that mm -hmm. stuff. But, I mean, they're, you know, they're, you could see where there are techs that are working for different reasons, various reasons that in the future could come together. Yeah. And this would be the basis it's of that. It's just the, the you know? first step into that realm. You know? Well, not to mention the military applications. I never had thought of that. Yeah. But, I mean, you know, it. I mean, when you think back, you remember all the earlier gamers, they all turned into being, uh, you know, jet, jet Some fighters or, you know, yeah. or, or they... Or race they, cars. Yeah, 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 yeah race car oh, drivers yeah, that, and stuff. That skill set from able to use just even a joystick or whatever, but I any mean, simple control. It's true. I mean, like, you know? the F-35, the helmets and that, they have, you can see through the... They're, they're pretty much there already, yeah. you know, so it's the same kind of thing. It's just, obviously... You can imagine like there's some grand. almost yeah. unlimited... Uh, opportunities to really engage this in everyday life and enhance experiences and add value to people's lives and things like this. Um, but at that price, well. <laughs> Don't they have some tough. limited uh, being able to fly a plane with your eyes type thing? You, they aim, they target, the system's yeah. target with your eyes, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so that's all been there. Yeah, military, but, they do this. Yeah, right. But that's it's like hundreds of thousands of yeah, dollars. Yeah, right. Well, here it is. Yeah. <laughs> and you know? obviously military grade. Yeah. But yeah, no. Uh, uh, this might be a niche of a niche, but I got an idea for any developer out there, right? You know, maybe a big OEM, like you know, a hi-fi simulator, right? Yeah. Where you could like, yeah, you could adjust the speakers and it changes how they sound. Ooh. Or maybe a turntable, you can actually pick up the. Now we're prop, talking. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. you yeah. could put different things in the room and change the speakers. Yeah, change them. You change the like amps. Some yeah, JBL like horns. Yeah, right. Yeah. And stuff. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. want some nice Macintosh mono blocks. Uh, yeah. You could ninety nine cents or something. Yeah. <laughs> you know? That'd be cool. It's like PC building simulator, but for right. hi fi stuff. Oh yeah, and then the, you, the you sound the blue actually meters. changes. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you get tube amps, and it, what, when you position them in the room, it sounds different with the spatial audio yeah, and everything. Yeah. Now we're talking. Yeah, 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 get working on that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if anybody wants to do that, right. there's well, a free you know, idea. Well, you know, we make headphones here. Yeah. You know, do we, we? We could have something to do with that. Yeah. Well, well, we don't, we don't well, code, though. Well, no, no, no <laughs> but I'm just saying simply because of the fact that these headsets don't have the audio portion built in. Well, yeah. you know, uh -huh. All you would need is a black box that gives us audio. Yeah. And, uh, We'll have to wait when it comes out. We to can see tie into that some details on how the audio is actually. Going because to work. like planar drivers are really capable of doing and making an immersive event. Yeah, I was thinking. Yeah, you like know? You, you know, you could add more subs, keep stacking them up. Yeah. You know, it would turn into like a roller coaster tycoon. Or just a kind bigger of speaker in our headphones. Where it's yeah. like you start making stuff with like nine Gs loops. that are ridiculous. That's yeah. what it would turn into. That's true. And it's thunderous bass. You know, and it EQ everything. Yeah. And you can, you know. Well, maybe we'll cool. scoop one up. Well, you but combine that with the, you combine that with Elon's Neuronet. And well, that, that would now you could feel things that are well, happening. Yeah. <laughs> we're <laughs> getting a little. They'll ahead, make you yeah. feel a twitch in your finger when you touch something, or you know. Yeah, yeah. they do make gloves and stuff like that yeah. for that. They look complicated. Yeah. Oh, it's well, like make sure it feel are. like the base in your pant leg shaking. You yeah, know, yeah, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, you got to wear a whole suit. Yeah, well, this is getting really expensive <laughs> and complicated. <laughs> they need a better way because this is. Yeah. I don't know about maybe that. very micro poos of air coming from some device that can can aim air at you yeah. and give you a sensation. Yeah, it's possible. Presumably, people are working on this. Yeah, so there you go. So we've got, we, if we add tactile, now we're talking. It is important. Yeah, got to close yeah. that loop. Yeah. So on that note. We've blabbed enough about this one, and it's pretty yeah. exciting stuff. And uh, I'm exciting. looking forward, like you, to see what we could do with it with an audio situation. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah, we'll go from there. Thanks everyone for watching. Thumbs us up. Hit subscribe if you're not subscribed, because we always have more stuff coming. 
Thanks. Take care.